Alan Solosh here, the Passive Income Guru, in this video tutorial explains the last steps of uh, analyzing your moving averages. And our next videos are going to be about candlestick technical analysis. Right, so uh, we're still analyzing the EuroCAD uh, chart. And we said yesterday that uh, the stock would turn... Uh, roughly, let's go back to the 30-minute chart uh, where we're looking at uh, the head and shoulders. So there's the head and shoulders over here. Head, shoulder, shoulder. And uh, it kept on doing uh, that continuous sideways uh, trend. And then we opened up this morning and it went south. And now we are definitely trending in the upward direction, which is according to the head and shoulders um, formation and analysis. So there's a couple more things that uh, I want to mention uh, which gives you a clear indication of the currency uh, going in a northerly direction. So let's start with uh, the day chart and uh, we'll continue from there. So the chart, uh, the, the currency opened this morning over here and as you can see the trend for the day was well below the red and white uh, 8 exponential moving average, which gives you the sentiment that the trend for the day um, is still going to continue going um, a, a bearish, uh, going down. So, as you can see here, the candle is moving very far away from the red and white line. Now, here is a key point that you need to understand with the 8 exponential moving average, that the candle will always come back to meet the 8 exponential moving average, which is good news for us because the take profit um, for our uh, currency that we're looking at at the moment is round about there and uh, is round about there and uh, the currency is actually going to come back to about here and we're going to land up in a profit with a specific uh, currency. So let's go and look at the 4 hour uh, chart and uh, as you can see here the candle has bounced well above the 8 exponential moving average. As you can see it stopped over here on the white. This is the mid of the Bollinger Band which is not a serious line to be stopped at. So we're expecting the currency to go further north and to actually get to about the yellow line over here. So let's look at the next uh, moving average, which is, uh, sorry, the next time frame, which is the H1, the one hour chart. Uh, so let's make it a little bit smaller so that we can see what's happening in the history. So this is a very key point over here. This is a point of Resistance. Remember, we spoke about resistance when you're touching the roof. Uh, you can't go through the roof because the roof is resisting you from going through it. So we're hoping that this resistance line over here becomes a point of support. If the if the candle goes above this uh, this point and actually closes, um, and a new candle form uh, for, forms above this uh, line of resistance, this line of resistance becomes a new line of support. And we can expect the currency to go north uh, to the blue, uh, the blue line, which is the MA100, which is a, uh, a quite an important um, moving average, according to the technical analysts, Okay, which is well above our take profit over there. So let's look at the next moving average and see also why we're stopped on that white Bollinger Band and that... Uh, um, point of resistance. So let's look at the 30 moving average. And as you can see, we're also on, uh, uh, there's the there's that point over there, but we're very close to the outer band of the Bollinger Band. Now, normally what happens is, uh, and that's probably why we're also being stopped there. So it's uh, two, uh, two points of contact. We've got the uh, point of uh, uh, resistance over here and we've got the outer Bollinger Band which is touching over there. So what will happen is, is when it touches the Bollinger Band it normally comes down about 50%, maybe 60% to the 5 uh, the, the five moving average and then it will break forwards again over here going above that moving, uh, this, uh, this line of uh, resistance uh, touching the white Bollinger Band over here coming down and then it will carry on going north um, um, to our take profit and to that blue uh, MA100. So let's look at the 15-minute uh, chart. That was the 15-minute chart. Let's look at the 5-minute chart and see 
Why on the five? What's happening on the five-minute chart? Again, still stuck on that uh, line of obviously on that line of uh, resistance. There's the white Bollinger Band. So we've got three confirmations now, three time frames showing the same thing. And the one minute uh, we're going down to the white. This is the mid of the Bollinger Band. We'll probably stop there. If it doesn't stop there, it'll go down to the yellow. Uh, and uh, if you look at the bottom of the screen here, we see that the yellow is important, an important indicator where most technical analysis, analysts have the, the uh, moving average, the 34 MA on their charts. And we will have a lot of uh, orders, buying orders and selling orders at this point. Um, and hopefully we'll have more buying orders and selling orders. I presume we will have because we're now in a bullish trend and people would have uh, executed their bullish orders round about here above and below, and uh, the currency will then carry on trending in a northerly direction. So I'll carry on with this video in the next uh, uh, 20 minutes and show you what the result is uh, so that we can have confirmation of, um, uh, of the moving averages. Another point to note of the, of, the, of the change in direction is these dojis over here. So now a doji is basically um, a long wick with a very, very small body, gives you an indication that the change in sentiment of that currency has taken place. Uh, the bulls and the bears don't quite know what to do yet. And uh, if, if there is a doji at the, uh, at the top of, um, above the 8 moving average, the 8 MA, you can expect the, uh, the, the, the currency to reverse, which it has done, and come back to the 8 moving exponential. When you see a doji, it's t at, uh, above the eight, uh, 8 exponential MA, it's time to take profits and uh, wait and see what happens to the currency. Um, you can always jump back in if you made the wrong decision, uh, you can always jump back in. And if you notice here, it's very, very small uh, of a change in, uh, in pip value. You've only got, um, this is the Euro CAD, so you've got, uh, let's have a look at it, it's five pips over here from over here, 35 to 45. It's 10, it's a 10 pip move. Um, so it's not major. So if I had to actually uh, get out, I only would have lost 10 pips or, or five pips. I would have gotten back in over here and then carried on with my, uh, with that bull trend. Um, and then obviously there's that, uh, there's a bearish Harami. I'm going to explain all these candles in my next videos. And uh, you can see it's starting to come back again above the 8 MA. Okay, so I'll carry on with this video in the next 20 minutes and show you exactly what has transpired. Right, so as you can see on the 30 minute uh, chart, um, it's testing that line of, uh, of resistance, making it a line of support. Uh, we've gone above, um, we've gone above, let's try and get that, there we go, uh, which the, there is the last point that it hit, which was uh, two days ago. Uh, coming down, it'll it'll close about here, maybe over here, and then it'll start going up again, and it'll go above this line of resistance, making this line a line of support, and then we will go into profit. So let's look at those trades, and as you can see, we're about 11 pips away. Uh, so here it is. Uh, the take profit is 635, and we're on 53. So it's 53 minus 65. Uh, which is, uh, what is that? Uh, it's 10 pips. Uh, we're 10 pips away from, uh, from going into massive profit. Nine pips now. And uh, can't wait to see what this is going to look like in the next few minutes. And I'll resume the video um, when we get onto the next candle and break above the line of, um, of support. So as you can see here on the five minute chart, we're still way above the, uh, the 8 uh, MA. Uh, touching on the five minute uh, MA over here. And uh, so we're still very much in a bull market. Uh, there's our line of, uh, of resistance over there. So we hit it um, five minutes ago. Now we're uh, retracting back to the five minute and uh, we'll carry on going north um, in the next few minutes. So let's look at the one minute chart. One minute chart, we're below the, 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 the eight um, exponential hit the yellow line, which is the 34, uh, retraced back up to the, uh, the mid Bollinger Band, and uh, we're hovering in this area. But I'm not too concerned about the, the one minute. I'm more concerned about the five minute, 
uh, where we're still way above the 8 exponential moving average. Let's look at the 15. You can see the 15, we're very high above the 8 exponential. Now, as I've said before, when you're high above the 8 exponential, usually what will happen is the currency will retrace back down to that 8 exponential, hitting a new time frame in the next, uh, this is a 30 minute chart, so 30 minutes it's got to come down, a new time frame will start, uh, it will touch on the, eight expo on, the, on the 8 exponential and then carry on going north again to touch the Bollinger Band and so it will continue in that formation. Right, really exciting now. So as you can see, the next candle has formed above the line of, uh, of uh, um, resistance, um, possibly forming a new line of support. So if the next candle closes above here and we test down to this line of uh, support resistance and it doesn't go through this line, this line has now converted from a line of support to a line, uh, from a line of resistance to a new line of support, now supporting the new price level. So there's been price action here and uh, we're now going to continue going up. So let's have a look and see at, uh, uh, at the trades. Uh, and see uh, the take profit. Oh, so I think we've taken ta we've taken some profit there. We have. So a lot of the euro cads have taken profit, and uh, so the profit for the day there was two hundred and forty four dollars, which is absolutely phenomenal. Uh, so if we go back here, the next line of uh, the next line that we're looking for uh, for this take profit for these massive trades is uh, the take profit of uh, 1.50768. So it's 1.50768, which is about 16 pips away. So uh, let's uh, turn, turn the, uh, um, turn the uh, phone and let's look at it from another angle. Let's go down to the 30 minute. Let's go down to the, the, the one hour and let's look at the, uh, the take profit. So the take profit is over here. We're 16 pips away. It's dropped below the line of uh, that line of uh, support. Let's go back to the five minutes and see if it has actually. So it hasn't gone through that line of, uh, of support resistance. It's testing that line very carefully. Lots of buying and selling orders are going off now. Uh, and we'll see who is, uh, who's going to win this battle between the bears and the bulls. Uh, as you can see, we're well above, we're, we're not so far above the, uh, the 8MA. Uh, so we we'll possibly test down to the 8MA and then carry on going up. Let's look at the one minute. Uh, so the one minute is we are testing the, uh, the, far, uh, the, the mid line of the Bollinger Band. And uh, if we continue going south, we will then hit the MA34 over here, testing that line and then retracing back uh, to the 16 pips. I think that Eurocad has finally turned and is now on a bull run. And uh, everybody can expect to, uh, um, to take profit and uh, have a massive passive uh, income day. Um, due to the uh, Forex Ninja bot. So let's wait and see what happens. Um, I'll resume the video in the next couple of minutes and show you um, what has transpired with the price action, if we've gotten support uh, on the new line or if we're still hitting resistance. Right, so it appears that uh, the uh, line of uh, resistance has now become a new line of support and uh, the currency is definitely trending in a bullish uh, uh, bullish momentum and uh, we've hit the one take profit we're waiting for the next take profit to uh, uh, to take effect uh, let's go and look at uh, what are we on a, a five minute chart let's look at the 15 minute chart so as you can see same thing over there we had a slight uh, uh, doji over there which showed uh, sentiment of the change in direction uh, the the long wick came down to the five minutes I think yeah, it came down to the five minutes. A new candle opened way above uh, the doji and uh, the line of uh, resistance, new line of support. And uh, we're now heading in a northerly direction to the take profit. And we are, I think we are 13 pips away. Let's go and check it out. Right, so we are approximately 768 minus 663. Uh, uh, so what is that? 13 pips. 13 pips away from uh, this account uh, going into profit. So if we turn the phone sideways again, you can see uh, that we've definitely gone into a new line of support, which is really exciting. So as you can see, guys, the moving averages are very um, predictive. 
Um, they're a great indicator that gives you insight into the direction of the currency. So instead of making emotional decisions, learn how to read a chart, learn how uh, what these moving averages actually represent and how they can benefit you so as to make profit instead of losses. Uh, my next, uh, I said to you that the next couple of videos, there'll be a full video series on candlesticks, understanding candlesticks, and how the candlestick, and, uh, and understanding what candlesticks are, what their formations are, uh, what their patterns are, uh, will change your, your perception of trading, and will put you in about an 80 to 90% profitable situation every time you trade. So I hope that you found this video tutorial and series interesting. If you like this video, uh, please mouse over this video. If you're on my website, on the top left-hand corner, there's, an, uh, there's a YouTube icon. Click on the YouTube icon. If you're watching this on YouTube, scroll down below the video on YouTube. There's four things that I'd like you to do. One is click on the subscribe button. Two, click on the bell icon to the right of the subscribe button. Below that is a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs up. And in the comment section, leave positive feedback as well as your Bitcoin wallet address because I give away 0.005 of the Bitcoin every single Friday and you, and you could be the lucky winner of that prize. So good luck for that and I'll see you on the next video.